The purity table is fantastic. So it acts as a universal language of chemistry. No matter where you are in the world, you can talk to another chemist. I'm always uh, getting in trouble with the English department because I say that capital letters are more important in chemistry than they are in English. And the reason for this is that they can mean something completely different. So here we have CO and CO. This is capital C and a capital O and a capital C and a lowercase o. This is carbon, capital C. Capital O is oxygen. Together they make carbon monoxide. which is a highly poisonous gas. This is cobalt, which is a metal and won't kill you in your sleep, unless it falls on you. So you need to be able to look at an element like this and tell me what's in it. So I'm going to go through a few of these with you. If you want to um, pause before we start and have a go at this yourself, that'd be great. So this here is nitrogen. And it has one of them, and this is hydrogen. And this little three here means there are three hydrogens. This is magnesium oxide. It has one lot of magnesium. And one lot of oxygen. So it has two different elements and it has two atoms in there. This is sulfuric acid, it has two because this little number here, lots of hydrogen. It has one because it doesn't have a number after it, sulfur. And it has four because of this number here, oxygens. So it has three different elements in it, the three different letters, and it has two, three, four, five, six, seven atoms in it. This is sodium hydroxide, so it has one lot of sodium, because it doesn't have a number after it. It has one lot of oxygen, And it has one lot of hydrogen. So it has three different elements and three atoms. Calcium carbonate, one lot of calcium, one lot of carbon. And because of this number here, three oxygens. So it has three different elements and five atoms in it. So you have here. Don't worry if these are getting a bit complicated, these formulas. All I want you to do is to be able to identify the elements, how many atoms, how many atoms and how many elements. So the turn up here tells us there are two lots of sodium. There's one sulfur. And there are four oxygens. So there are three elements and seven atoms, two, three, seven. Now we get a bit more complicated because we have these brackets here, so let's just start off by identifying the elements. This is calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Now because calcium doesn't have a number after it, there is one of them. And we have oxygen and hydrogen in the brackets with a 2 after it. The 2 means there is 2 of everything inside the brackets. So there are 2 oxygens and there are 2 hydrogens. So we have 3 elements. And we have 5 atoms. 
iron hydroxide here, so iron, there's only no number after it, so there's only one of them. Oxygen, there's a three outside the brackets, so that means there are three oxygens. And there are three hydrogens. So there are three different elements. And there are seven atoms. A bit more complicated now. Again, we have one lot of iron. We have nitrogen. And then we have oxygen. Now, nitrogen, there are two of because there's two outside. Oxygen, we have to do two times three, that means there's six oxygens. So we have three elements. And we have six, seven, eight, nine atoms. Last one here, super tricky one for us to finish on. We have two nitrogens. We have 2 times 4, that's 8 hydrogens. We have 1 with sulfur. And we have 4 lots of oxygens. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 elements. and 15 atoms. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.